What's up, everybody? It's John here, uh, bringing you another episode of Thoughts for the Road. Today, I want to talk about yesterday. <laughs> uh, specifically, um, I actually rode my first Uber yesterday, and I rode two. Um, and I know everybody's like, eh, Uber, I take it all the time. Yeah, well, I don't, okay? And I had two very different experiences. Nothing crazy. Um, both drivers were very nice. Um, I was not. I was not concerned or worried. Although the second guy had a uh, a problem with braking at the very last second, which was a little uh, little sketch. Um, there was a couple of times I thought we were going to get in an accident. Um, now, I'm not one to have somebody else drive for me. It's not really my thing. Um, now, if it wasn't for the fact that I drive so much at work, um, I would probably drive for Uber or Lyft. And I've, I've considered it before. Um, But, uh, so the first gentleman who came to pick us up, um, me and my son were, were going to go see the lawyers. Uh, my son had an accident, um, and so there's a lawsuit for, uh, um, for that injury. But, um, so the first driver who, who went to pick us up, real cool cat, um, gentleman who lived, uh, in my general geographical area, um, got into the car and, and I always, I, I, Whenever I'm riding with somebody who's driving, I don't like to sit in the back and make them feel like a taxi. I, I prefer to, to ride up front. And that, I was like that with friends well before Uber. Um, so I asked him, you know, do you want us in the back or, or can I sit up front? And he goes, no, no, come on, sit up front. So my son went and sat in the back and I sat up front. And uh, I immediately noticed that... Uh, he was playing uh, Flava Flav. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh man, I haven't heard this song in a long time. And he had it, he had uh, Pandora set to these just oldies, um, which makes me feel old because these were songs that I loved listening to. Uh, and to hear them be called as oldies, I was like, oh man, but we had Alicia Keys and Brandy and uh, Run DMC and uh, I just all these old good artists um, and so it, it was cool and he's like well you know I, I can change it I said no man this is good music let's just keep it going and it was nice with this this cat we were we were talking the whole time, and I, I was asking him about his experiences with Uber and Lyft. He had both. Um, and uh, we're talking about, you know, different fares. And, like, I, I, I watch videos on, on crazy Uber riders and crazy Uber drivers. Um, and so, you know, asking him, you know, have you gotten any crazies? And he, he was like, no, he, he's had some interesting happenings. Like, you know, people not wanting to put in their, their uh, destination address because it changes the, uh, the fare in, in terms of how they pay, um, which sometimes can be cheaper. And for those of you who are uh, uh, Uber drivers, if somebody tries to get you to do it by the minute uh, instead of by the distance, you have the right 
to refuse the ride um, if they don't want to put in their destination address because you lose money. Um, so, but yeah, going back to it, it was it was a very nice experience. Um, the the like I said, he we had to go all the way to Beverly Hills to to meet with the lawyers. I, I love it when you're trying to get over and everybody knows exactly why you're trying to get over. There's this section here uh, that I pass by and work every day. It's two lanes on either side, but the center lane becomes a turn lane. Well, the light was green and at the last second, these three people flipped on their turn light and the light turned red. So I'm gonna get stuck, so I tried to get over and these people wouldn't let me over. This guy here is. Thank you. Um, because otherwise I'm going to get stuck. And it sucks. So, the guy dropped us off. It was conversation the whole way there. Uh, I like the science of people. I like talking to people. I like lit. I love listening to people more than talking. Um, I know. I've got a thoughts for the road where I'm talking all the time. Um, and I do. I, I will go on rants and I will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But a lot of times I like to ask questions and then listen to people's responses and then just feed that and watch it all come rolling back. Um... I love the science of people, the the way people think, the way they live, the way they act and react. Uh, it, it's fascinating to me. Um, in my industry, I get to see how people live all the time, um, and I get to talk to them about you know how they got in certain situations. And uh, part of my job is to help correct that. Uh, and give them a, uh, a better lifestyle, I guess you could say, or living conditions, quality of life. Um, and that's one of the things I've always loved about my job, and now I get to teach other guys how to do it. Um, so with this cat, it was, it was nice, because we had that, that good flow going, and we were talking, and, and, and we could... I could really kind of get his feel of, of, you know, what he's been doing and, and you know, he, he's gone, going through med school and he's in this third year of med school. Um, but also he's taken courses on, uh, on programming and coding. So, yeah, that was fun. So we get done with the lawyer's office, call the next Uber, and the gentleman shows up, and within seconds, I can tell this guy doesn't want to talk. He's got classical music playing, which I have very eclectic tastes. I like just about everything. Um, new school rap, not so much. I don't, doesn't quite fall into the category of music to me. Um, but old school rap and, and classical in my in my Pandora, I've got everything from the 1920s to current, with the exception of new school rap. Um, so I didn't mind the classical; it was nice, it was it was calming. Um, Now, it's funny, on the way to the lawyer's office, my son was dead quiet. We left at, like, 7.30 in the morning. And, uh, so he was still kind of half asleep. Excuse me. Um, but on the way back, he wanted to talk. And this driver was not very talkative, and I was kind of, like, 
I was listening to my son, but at the same time trying to like signal to him to kind of, you know, reduce the chatter amount because I didn't want to piss off the driver. Um, and I would, I would ask the driver a question here, a question there, but his, his very just, he'd give a full answer, but it was, it was like, it wasn't cross, but it was as short as he could give without being rude. And then go back to being very quiet. There were a few things where he would kind of like perk up and, and make a comment about, um, like we passed by an in and out and there was a, a two lane road and the, the right hand side was just packed full of cars. And he goes, oh, there must be an in and out around here. I said, yeah, there's, there's one right here. Oh, yeah, you know, everybody always lines up for in and out And he got all excited about food. I, I love food. We can talk about food. So we, I tried to, to get him to talk about, you know, in and out and he just wasn't having it. Um, but it was very interesting to see, you know, it, it, two completely different people doing the same job. Um, and I was, I was very fascinated by the, the second guy, you know, the first guy wanted, he had mentioned that through his, his uh, last two years of med school that he spent all his time with his face in a book and he had kind of lacked socially. Uh, and that was one of the reasons why he wanted to drive for Uber was so that he could get back into that swing of, of you know, social interaction with people. As to where the second guy didn't want to have any conversation of any kind. And I I would imagine if I were to drive for Uber, and that was one of the things that I was really fascinated with uh, for the for you know my possibility of driving for Uber or Lyft was all the different people I was gonna be able to meet and essentially interview and, and listen to their, their stories and um, what are you honking for? Um, but this this other guy, he just he's picking people up, but he doesn't want to talk. I found that very interesting. But all in all, I had two two good experiences. One, of course, better than the other, um, but nothing negative. Um, and so, yeah, and it was a long ride. I think uh, there to the lawyer's office took almost two and a half hours. Uh, on the way back, took maybe about an hour and a half. Um, I got to spend some quality time in a car with a couple of strangers. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, I had the more talkative one for the two hour ride. It, it, it made it seem a lot shorter because we were enjoying uh, the conversation. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, um, that's it for this video. Um, go ahead and, and, and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video with your friends. Um, if you've got a subject that you would like for me to talk about, Leave it in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to, to pick from, from uh, somebody's selection and give you a shout out for your idea, for the thought. Um, and yeah. So this is it. My name is John. And I will see you later.